Hi everyone, Lolly here. Welcome to my channel. This is today's art journal entry. I had already put down the texture paste that I colored with different color paints and it's been sitting for a couple of days and so today I got inspired to kind of get it finished up. So the background is just ink pads that I just rubbed on the page <clears throat> and I had made the page on the right side and inked both of them at the same time. So it had blues and greens and the distress um, like vintage photo things like that so here I'm just adding some rub on just to add a little more um, interest to the background put a little black in there so the bricks um, I didn't have a stencil for bricks so what I did have was a piece of chipboard that those little uh, rectangles had been punched out of <clears throat> and I used that just to kind of give the idea of bricks and then, like I said, I colored it with um, different colored paints, like greens and uh, different browns, a little bit of metallic. And so now we have the background here. Put a little numbers on there. Always need to have numbers on a page, right? So um, still wasn't sure what the focal point was going to be, but <clears throat> I have some Tim Holtz, um, the different characters and people. And so I think that's the way I'm going to go. I'm just adding a little bit of a mossy green here just to kind of give some uh, depth to the bricks. Adding the same color into the background so it all kind of flows together. And then um, I love this color, this Distress Sprite. <clears throat> and so since there's already blue, I wanted to go ahead and add that into the background. Um, I like it. Took it a little bit off there because it sprayed really thick. This is just a piece of cotton that I had tea dyed for another project. And so I'm gonna add some layers here to the page. I don't wanna cover the brick too much. I really like it, even though it doesn't look exactly like brick, but I like the texture and how it came out. So I inked that um, little frayed piece of fabric, and now I'm going to ink the edges of the photo. And again, I'm going to place it just a little bit so that most of the um, brick shows around it. <clears throat> Those are some Tim Holtz um, ephemera. And I'm just looking for something to put behind the picture to kind of frame it. But I don't want to cover, again, the, the brick and the raised texture. Sorry. Um, the texture is really thick and I really liked how it came out. It's just um, modeling paste. <clears throat> but the chipboard was so thick that the bricks came out really thick. I found this little library card. Um, I distressed the edges with my ink pad. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to roll the edges there to, you know, make it like old and battered. And so you just roll the corners with your scissors or a paintbrush or pen, anything like that. I took a little bit of a wet paintbrush and went around the edges of the library card so it wasn't just a stark line of um, distress ink. And here I'm putting um, the ink. <clears throat> if you dab it, uh, sometimes you can get like that old picture or old movie kind of uh, effect on a picture if you don't dab it too hard. So that's what I was doing there. So I still feel like something is missing. Uh, so I'm going to try this tape. It's just a tape I could use. Uh, I guess if you want to tape on gauze or something on an injury <clears throat> a medical tape. So here I'm just going to ink it up, add the paint and the same colors to it. And then I'm just tearing the ends so that they're not just a straight perfect cut adding all the same colors trying to decide on where I want to put it <coughs> that does change um, later on so because of the brick the left side of the picture doesn't lay flat so I'm going to put some um, of the little raised dots on there And here, just on these um, pictures, I love them just like they are, but I like to sometimes color in their clothes or hats or something like that. So I'm adding just a little bit of that green that's in the background. 
but I watered it down a lot and so I did their clothes a little bit of the blue the green and on his trousers I put a little bit of the, a little bit of the brown color I had out so you'll see in just a little while that I just I didn't do their whole outfits just a little bit here and there I wanted the colors to stay <coughs> dark and um, vintagey and I that glue stuck to me and so that hurts. I have a pretty good blister there, but I guess that happens to all of us. I'm just using hot glue because I'm impatient. I want to get this project finished. So now I have moved that tape that you see there, and I'm starting to glue down all of the elements. I still haven't figured out what my <clears throat> uh, title or my quote or anything like that is going to be, but I, I love the picture, how it turned out. I have some old uh, shipping labels that I picked up, I think at Goodwill, and so I'm going to, I printed on that, I found a quote that I liked, and so I printed on the sticker paper, it's not raised like chipboard, but that's okay, it sticks down, um, mostly, but I did add some glue to it, here I'm just trying to decide on how it's going to fit on the page. Be careful who you make memories with. Those things can last a lifetime. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue it down that I've cut it where it fits. I didn't use matte medium or Mod Podge or anything on here. Um, <clears throat> I just didn't feel like I needed to for it. And so here we are at this point. I'm going to take the little chalk I don't know what they're called. I'll have to look it up. Um, pencils, and I'm going to, I like to use that or a charcoal pencil to do the black um, kind of edging. I don't like the look of a marker all the time. So this kind of, you can fade it away a little bit more and blend it. So I'm just gonna go around the page and just kind of highlight different areas with the black chalk. I like the way the background colors came out and it literally was just rubbing um, I rubbed on the vintage photo and then the walnut stain and then a dark blue color I have um, and just got the background and it's been in my book for a little while because I didn't know what to do with it so in the left corner there there's something missing and kind of wanted to tie in the last a lifetime with time and things like that so I have this little piece of scrap paper that has clocks on it and so I'm going to distress this clock and I didn't like the whole thing almost made it look like a moon and so I just cut it in half and I'm just going to put it here on the edge so it's kind of just peeking in um, but it's filling in that corner over there so. I love the little picture of the three kids. I think it is so cute. All right, there we are. I'm not sure that I'll go and touch up anything. I like it just the way that it came out. <clears throat> In the lighting here, it looks a little bit blue, but um, it has a really dark kind of vintage I guess that's a word, <laughs> feel to it. But... Um, I like it. I like the way it came out. I love the little library card. Um, I should have made a copy of it before I glued it down. So there's just a picture of the modeling paste in the beginning and just some close-ups of the page for you guys to see the different areas. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. I hope that it was you were inspired or you saw something you hadn't done before and just something that you want to try. I'll try to find the little chalk pencils. I know that's not what they're called.